What's going on folks? Back here with another video. And today I'm gonna start making, I guess you can call it a mini series on me LS swapping the BH sedan Genesis. Um, I get what, from 2009 to 2013, I think it is, yeah. So um, before I get into anything, I'm gonna make this, I'm trying to just as short as possible because I don't wanna keep you guys long, just some quick information. And then I'm gonna try to give you guys um, at least one video a week because I'm a working adult and I do have kids, so my life could get very hectic at times, but um, I'm gonna try my best to give you guys at least one video a week just to give you an update on what I've done so far and what might be the next or what is going to be the next thing that um, that is about to get added on in order to get to the end of the completion of getting this swap together. All right, so. I'm gonna flip it around, show you guys what I got going on so far, and then we can move forward. Before you start getting in any deeper into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, because like I said, I'm gonna make my utmost effort to try and drop at least one to two videos a week so you guys could really get an idea on everything that I got going on for this swap, what you're gonna need, what I have so far, and exactly what you're going to um, have collectively at the end i guess every time i put a video up on getting this swap done all right so check it out all right so typical ls swap got a 5.3 lm7 it came out of a uh, gmc yukon um it got like about close to 200,000 miles on it but that's good because it's supposed to be a boosted slash nitrous application um this is the genesis that it's going into and um this is the active one. This is the one it's going into. As you can see, uh, I got most of, well, everything out. Um, and then I still got a few things I gotta take out from the inside here. So transmission is out, so all I gotta do is take these little things apart and then you got that big gap there. So when I get my uh, transmission in, which is going to be a Turbo 400, and um god damn it let me hold on let me uh let me let me get this out so um I put this phone down so you guys could see the engine bay properly so as i was saying engine and transmission has been out the only thing that i'm going to keep that is pretty much for any swap uh we're going to try and see if we can make this power steering work we're going to set it up and see if everything runs first i still have to get a new battery to uh to put it in the car, to turn the car on, to see what is actually coming on without uh, without anything else inside here. Of course, you got your steering column. I still got my exhaust on still from the headers. Focus, focus, there you go. Yeah, um, shout out to ISR Performance. Uh, I do have their um, motor mounts right now, which thank God is bolting up straight. So I do not need a coupe subframe. Um, this weekend, I'm going to try and, uh, this weekend, I'm going to try and test fit the engine mounts together. I'm going to get it on the, uh, the hoist. I'm going to get the engine on the hoist, drop it in there with these, see how it fits. And I'm going to make another video on that and I'm going to post it up. Um, let me see. Let me see. What else? Uh, okay. 5.3 LM7. Turbo 400, it's gonna be a built Turbo 400. Shout out to Keller Motorsport. He is building my transmission right now. It's rated for somewhere between 750 and 800 horsepower. That's what we're gonna start off with for now. Of course, that's just to get this working. And once it's done work, once we get it set up and it's running, we put the power adders in there and then we're gonna move forward. Okay, so like I said, I was gonna make it real quick. I wasn't gonna, there's not too much detail that I have right now. Um, management system, I forgot. Management system is going to be, um, it's gonna be uh, Holly. I was gonna go Haltech, but uh, Haltech is on the little expensive side right now. So just to start it off, I'll start it off with Holly, get everything running. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever seen, but this, uh, the BH sedans have a two piece drive shaft. This is the piece that's connected to the, from the transmission to about your resonator, as you can see right there. So this came out, it just dropped out. 
It's connected by this, uh, I don't know what the hell that is. And uh, again, mind you, I've never built a car. I've never did anything like this. I'm going head, I'm going head in with, I would be humble and say, the average knowledge of uh, cars, I would say. The average knowledge, and I'm surrounded by some really good people. So, so far for someone who just started doing this, I think it's going really, really well. And um, let me see what else, I'm not missing anything, if I'm missing anything. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like a full body car. It's not gonna be a dedicated race car. I still wanna be able to drive to the grocery store or take like a two hour drive or one hour cruise or something like that. So it's not going to be a dedicated race car. But what I want, I want when I'm ready to dump it, it got some power to it. But like I said, that's for the long run. Right now, the main objective, get it started, get it running, work out the small cakes. And then after that, forced induction with a combination of uh, nitrous. Down, that's down the road, but that is the end goal. Um, I think that's really all that I got right now. Like I said, this is just the first video and um, I just wanna fill you guys in as much as possible on uh, what it is I got going on right now. Um, I think that's about it. Um, if there is any tips or any ideas that you guys might have for me, um, you could hit me up on my YouTube or you could uh, hit me up on IG. Uh, the link is in the bio of my YouTube and the link for the YouTube is on my IG. So either way, either one of those channels, you're able to get a hold of me. And um, I'm also going to look into doing a uh, update info on the on this bad boy because I haven't done an update video in a while for him. So, because there's a lot of stuff that has been done to her and I really, sh y'all should really know because I know a lot of people ask a lot of questions and I'm not trying to keep like, I'm not trying to be a gatekeeper. If there's things, if there's knowledge to be shared, I want to share the knowledge with everyone because that's just what real car enthusiasts do. All right, so peace and love y'all. Any other information, any questions, anything I got, I would either post it on my Instagram. Any questions, comments, tips, ideas, anything at all that you guys, I appreciate it. If you guys just hit me up and let me know, any help would be greatly appreciated. All right, peace.